I've met Mary yes, before. You have. Nice yes. To see you. How are well, you? it wouldn't be the Spirit Awards without us here. That's right. So that's. <laughs> we can just go home. <laughs> that's it. Everybody can go home now. We, we can we can call it a day. So, how excited are you for today? I know Josh and I talked at nominations. Talk about diversity. This is, I think, the most diverse slate of nominees that we've ever had. This, and is, this is a very diverse slate of nominees, but you know what? We've been doing this for 34 years. This year, I think, is, is exceptional, but it, it really just builds on the work we've been doing for a long time. Um, you know, but yes, the, the best director category especially is really gratifying to see this great work being recognized at a major award show, as it should be. You know, I'm curious for you, Mary, you helped spearhead and, and take Film Independent into the next direction and expanding. So I'm curious, how proud are you of the nominations here that were overlooked by that other award show that's happening tomorrow, such as Won't You Be My Neighbor? And our, our incredible female directors? You know, I, I do have to say, um, first and foremost, there is such a great collection of fantastic films this year. So not everybody got on our award nominations, not everybody got on the other ones. I mean, those are tough categories. Best documentary, best foreign film, these are staggeringly fantastic and competitive fields. So that happens every year. It happens to us too. It's part of, it's part of the business. But I really am so proud of Josh and the staff and all the work they do year round. They've been prepping for this since last summer, starting with the nominations nominating committees and putting this on is no small uh, task it's turned into a giant show and we also have a tremendously successful um, international program now global media makers which is brand new in the last three years and the the staff um, Josh can speak to that the staff has just been so remarkable and his leadership is really outstanding well Josh's leadership goes without saying and Josh knows I'll be the <laughs> well. You know I'll be the first one to tell you when you're screwing up. So. <laughs> I think that's happened. <laughs> I, I've gotten those calls. L.A. Film Festival. <laughs> no, so, but for you, how yeah. exciting is this? You know, the nominees are all great, but the fact that Film Independent is recognizing things that the Academy is overlooked that have such global appeal. Yeah. Like what will be my name? Yeah. Well, you know, I, first of all, I, I do agree with Mary that especially the documentary category is so tough. That there's like, I mean, they have some films nominated over there that I was like, yeah, how did we not include that one? But because there's just so many good ones. But um, I don't know. I, I, you know, we've been doing this a long time and uh, there's this amazing community of talented independent filmmakers. And there's men, it's women, it's people of color, it's LGBT. They've been part of the film independent family of our artistic orbit for a long time. And um, I think it, th this year's awards does feel special to me. And I feel like it's showing just the growth of that independent sector, the vitality of the work being done here. These are the best films of the year. Yeah, they really are. And I'm so thrilled to see so many, like Colette, I mean, wash it. the script is amazing, the direction is amazing, and the fact that we're going to have Chloe Grace Moretz here today, who, I mean, Chloe's first film experience was the Poker House, directed by Lori Petty, that premiered at LA Film Festival. Oh my gosh. Was she like six years old? Or she, yeah, I interviewed her then. I've been on, I've been, I've been on Chloe's ride all these years. See, I've been around longer than you, Josh. So you know, I want to pick up on something Mary said, um, just so your your viewers are aware. In the last few years, so Film Independent, our mission is to champion creative independence and visual storytelling. And for many years, that was focused really just on the the Los Angeles community. 
because that that we were just starting out and the, that's what our resources would allow now the the independent film community really is global and the the independent storytellers are all over the world and we are reaching out and connecting with them in a way that we hadn't yeah, a few years ago so for the last three years we've been working with filmmakers in the Middle East and North Africa this year we're expanding into South Asia and we're going to be supporting filmmakers in India Pakistan Bangladesh Sri Lanka and Nepal bringing them to LA for a six-week residency really engaging with them in a, in a deep way to support the emerging work there wow. so for us it's so exciting it's we're doing the exact we haven't changed our mission we're, we're just broadening our reach and to be able to connect with those filmmaking communities is very very exciting for us well, of course I'm excited that we now have film independent members in Antarctica yes all over the world <laughs> I mean, I think this is a great partnership, the two of you. I really do. I do, too. I do, too. So go in, drink a lot, have a good time. The last thing I'll say, just in case your viewers don't know, Film Independent, we are a membership organization. We're open access. Anyone can join. As you, We have members on all seven continents, in all 50 states. Where it, it really is growing very, very broadly. So if your viewers want to join, just come on over to filmindependent.org and sign up. And do you don't think all my viewers and listeners know that by now? Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Mary. Good seeing you.